So I have this video and I turned the volume down. So I will show you how to create the images in the sunglasses. So let me get rid of this. I actually um, made one and I have this image in my description of this video. And this was one of the earlier ones that I had made and it took me a while. I made this in Media Place AI and it took me a little bit of time to get it right. But I think this might be a better one to practice on because they're round and it can be a little trickier when you're trying to do the shape that doesn't have the right proportions. So I decided, even though this isn't the best image, that we would use this for learning. So you can get this image if you want to do this alongside me. So let me ungroup this and I'll show you what is in here. We have the image that is the sunglasses on the background. And then I have two groups. I have a group for Lenka in the left lens. And then this is the left lens. I'll label that. And then this is the right lens. So what I did, let's start right here. I'm going to make this bigger again. Bring in your image of, the, oh, I was wondering what that was. That's my video. Bring in your image of, that you can get in the description and make it to the full size of your square canvas. I'm going to extend that out just a little bit. I can always crop it low, um, shorter if I need to. Now I'm just gonna do my two finger scroll to make it larger. You can, I always forget where it is because I don't use it that much. You can zoom it from here, either with the slider or choose a preset. I just always tend to do the scroll on my touchpad on my laptop. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up and I'm going to get a circle shape. I'm going to size it down a little bit. Now the reason I'm doing the circle is it's a little bit easier to fit. Um, what I'm going to do is lower the opacity a little so I can see if I got it in here. Now when I just made this other one, this other video, I realized some of it is kind of off and it has a little bit more of a circle in the middle and then it tapers out and then it's a single um, golden line there. But I will show you how I basically do some sizing. And then in the video that I made, there was just a lot of trial and error. So right now it's overlapping a little there. So I'm going to bring it up a little. And no matter how much I do some sizing now, it's always going to change when I get my character in there. So I'm going to go up here whoop, to my characters and I'm just going to grab, let's do Tom for this one because I did Lenka for the other one. So I'm obviously going to make him smaller. I'm going to click and drag here, or you can go to the properties and scale him down that way if you want. Let me hit my F key just to see. I might have made him a little too small, so I'm going to make him a little bit bigger, and we'll have him about this size. You're just going to figure it out after you get it in there how you want it to be. I'm going to change his action to walking. I'm going to click on the label of the 
action and I'm going to disable the start and the end and he's walking in the wrong way and I want to go to the right so what did I just went when you're clicked on the character go to properties and flip like this can you flip up here oh on some of the characters you'll have a flip signal here um, I didn't have it I thought I could show that so I'm going to flip him again so he's walking in the right direction I'm going to start him when he isn't in the frame of the glasses I am going to extend his action a little bit when I'm on his if I'm off of it here I'm just going to click on Tom add an animation linear and position I'm going to drag it out I can resize I mean retime it but just to get started so I'm just moving it over what I did is I just clicked between the two keyframes so I can move it and I'm just going to move it a little bit so I have a little wiggle room here if I need it click on the last keyframe and I am just going to move him as if he's walking whoop, across the screen so let's see how that looks that's a pretty good pace we can always shorten how long it takes him or lengthen how long it takes him so that's always an option for you to do now what I want to do is I want to mask Tom so that he'll be in the glasses and we don't see his legs but if I select Tom and the mask right now ugh, let me grab because of the keyframes I'm going to show you why you don't want to do this so if you select both right click and mask where's Tom he is nowhere so I'm going to command Z to undo that you can also use this little arrow to mask a character once you have animation on it you need to group him then you can select your mask and the character right click and group and you see him now he's super faded you know why it's because remember with the mask whoop, with the mask I had reduced the opacity so that I could see the outline so he having done that opacity lower it now has the whole thing low so I'm just going to increase it and now we can see Tom in the full let's see how that looks there he is but he's not in the second one because we didn't mask that yet but what I want to do first is I want to check how it looks with him coming in and going out so I'm going to click on the group again I'm going to detach the mask in case I have to make any edits I'm going to click on it and just move it in a little bit and I'm thinking we might he has that weird hair <laughs> that goes up so you know what I might do is I might go in there just to smooth out his hair we could actually even make him whoop there's a hair we could even make him bald but let's see I don't know if I'm I haven't used his hair much so I'm not sure but let's just see if that goes a little bit better so now without the spiky hair there's a little bit of blue but there's also already I mean the blue is part of the frame so it kind of looks 
Like it might be the background, but it really isn't. It is part of the frame here. So I think that I'm going to leave that right now for there. The bottom, he is staying. He's going out here. So I don't want that. His face is open. Eh, his face needs to move over a little. So I click on that group. I'm still detached. I want to make sure that the mask is detached. And I'm just going to move it over a little. Here I went too far. I can see some blue. Now it's not going to be perfect because of the way that the circle of the sunglasses is. But he's okay on the bottom. Let's see how did I mess up over here. That will work. And then... I think that's going to be good enough. You can always play around with it and change. I had to do an awful lot of work on that first one that I did. And when we're zoomed out a little bit, you won't really see some of that. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to restart because my loom just stopped working for a moment. I don't know why. So we have our character walking through the glasses right? The outline here you can see of the mask. Now all I'm going to do is I am going to select this character and mask. I'm just going to do command D to duplicate it. It made a second one. I'm going to undo that. You can command D. You can select it and duplicate it. Or you can even select it and copy. Oop. I thought there was a duplicate here, but you can command. I always do command D or you can duplicate it right here. Then all I'm going to do is the, de ma the mask is detached. It's outlined. This is my left. And this is my right. I am just going to select that and move it over. You can make another mask of a circle and already I can see there's going to be a little bit of a mess I have to fix here because it's cut off. But I'm just going to take that quick route and start that way and then make adjustments. And watch what happens. Now we have Tom walking through that one. And now he starts to walk on that one. But we can see he is cut off here. So we're going to fix that like we did the other one by selecting it. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to press my space key just to move it up a little bit so I can see the full thing. I have it detached. So I'm just going to hold it and move it over. And it looks like that might be okay. And he's walking, but now he's really cut off there. So I am going to bring this down and just do some resizing. I lost the other left side. Let's see. His hand is moving right at that moment, but let's see. So things look good on the right and the left. Where is he? There he is. There's a little bit of blue showing. I'm just checking the bottom and let's see, I might have messed up.
This one has that yellow and then the blue and then the black. So you're just going to play around with this until you get it where you might want it to be. And then over here it looks okay. It's just cutting off right here a little bit. But the more I move that, I'm messing up over on the left. And I don't like that because I can see his hand. Oh no, that's not his hand. I thought that little... I didn't have to do this much adjustment when I did my sample one. So let's see. He looks basically okay. There is a little bit of blue there, but I'm going to wait and see what this looks like. I'd probably want to play around with that a little bit more, but you can always start a new shape and go and start from there. It worked the last time when I did Lenka right before for the sample. What I'm going to show you now is he should be a little bit blurred, right? Here she is, and she she's a little bit blurred. I don't have her full um, sharpness. So what I did, before I do that, I'm going to attach the mask for both of them. All right, they're both attached. I went up to Effects and Components. I got the blur. I put it on. And then you just decide what you want. I think I did something like 18. That doesn't look good now. I want to fix that. It looks like I didn't um, attach the mask because it was just detached. So I want to fix that a little bit. I think that's okay. Now you can do the blurring before you even duplicate it, then you don't have to do it twice, but you will have to go on and blur him again if you don't do it the first time. Just make sure that you set it at the same percentage so it doesn't look odd. And there you go. That's all you would do. And if you wanted to do two characters in there like I did, you would just have two characters in here. And then I just duplicated it and changed it to the spy. So here's the one that I did. And then the one that we just did together. And have fun. You can really do whatever you want with it.